sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans especially. I'm here with another one-off baseball game using the Stratomatic basic set. And this game is going to pit the 1975 Boston Red Sox, who lost the World Series in seven games in 1975 to the Reds, against the 1934 Detroit Tigers, who lost the World Series in 1934 to the St. Louis Cardinals, I believe. The 75 Red Sox had a record of 95 and 65, and the 34 Detroit Tigers had a record of 101 and 53. And uh, we are going to use the DH today since it's an American League game, and I really don't like using the pitcher's hitting cards uh, if I can avoid it. I will do it for National League games that I put up on my channel. Um, but any American League game, even if it involves an older American League team like Detroit, who did not use the uh, DH, I will still be using the DH. And of course, that kind of is a sort of an advantage for the 75 Red Sox, because they can then DH Jim Rice and play Yastrzemski in left field, where he was a left field one. So the pitchers today uh, for the home team Detroit Tigers and out there taking his warm-ups is Eldon Auker, who I chose really basically because I just love that name. He was 15 and 7 with a 342 earned run average in 1934 and 205 innings pitched. And he will start off facing Denny Doyle of the Red Sox. And Denny Doyle gets a 4-3, which is a ground ball first base B. There's one down immediately for the Red Sox. Cecil Koopa is up, and he gets a 4-12, which is a walk. So Cooper gets aboard. There's a man on already for Boston with only one out. And Carlton Fisk up, and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Freddie Lynn comes up and he gets a 5-9 and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop and we will find out that the shortstop is Billy Rogel for Detroit and he was a 2 at short so we will roll the dice roll the bones and that's a 10-2 that might be an error it is a 2 base error on Billy Rogel so Boston has runners now at 2nd and 3rd and uh, Detroit has an error uh, so yeah. And Jim Rice up at the plate, but there's two down. So this is a clutch situation for Rice. And he gets a 1-5, which is a single, and he knocks in a run. And the runner that is coming around is, is Lynn, and he's a 1-15, and he will try to score, and he does. So it's a base hit for uh, Boston, and two runs come in. And that brings up Dwight Dewey Evans with a man at first, two down, two runs already in, and a 4-4 four, four is a ground ball to the or is a catcher's card X. So let's find the catcher. Oh, yeah, the catcher is um, Mickey Cochran, and he's a 1. And that's a 3. Let's see if 3-1 is anything on the catcher's card. And it is a pass ball followed by a pop-out, but nobody scored on that. So uh, Boston comes out of the first with two runs. And pitching today for the Boston Red Sox against the 34 Tigers will be Louis Tion. And Louis Tiant in 1975 was 18 and 14 with a 402 earned run average in 260 innings pitched. And the first batter he's going to face for Detroit is Pete Fox. And Detroit has their work cut out for him. That's a 5 7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And that is going to be Denny Doyle. And he is a 2. And that's a 19 and a 2 at second base. Let's see what happens on that. That is an out, so there's one away. 
The second batter for Detroit is JoJo White with one down, nobody on. And that is a 6-7, which is a walk. So kind of like the Boston Red Sox started. The first guy got out. The second guy walked. Charlie Garinger up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single double asterisk. And that puts runners at the corners. And it's a hit for Detroit. Runners are at the corners. One down, Hank Greenberg. Gets a 6-7, which is a walk to load the bases. Detroit has runners everywhere. And only one out with Mickey Cochran, the catcher. Up at the plate, 6-11 is a ground ball. Pitcher B. So we're going to just say no run score and that the bases stay loaded on a fielder's choice. And uh, Marv Owen gets a 5-4, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Red Sox is Rick Burleson, and he is a 2. Key situation for the fielding, and they blow it. Shortstop 2, and a 2 is a single 1, and one run comes in. So that's going to be a base hit for Detroit. And they do get a run. And that brings up Goose Gosselin. And he gets a 1-9. That's a fly ball to right field. But Detroit does knock the lead in half. And we go to the top of the second inning with the score 2-1 Boston. And Carl Yastrzemski up at the plate facing Eldon Auker. And that's going to be a 3-4. Hold on, let's get rid of these runners. 3-4 is a ground ball to the first baseman, and he's out, one away. Rico Petroselli gets a 2-10, and that's a walk. So Rico Petroselli is aboard. Rick Burleson comes up. He gets a 6-5. That is a ground ball second base C. Fielder's choice moves the runner to second. And Boston has a man at second with one down. Let's move him to second. And Denny Doyle up. And he gets a 4-6. And that is a single one to 18. Or wait a minute. No. No, that's a triple one to three. Single double asterisk. So another run comes in for Boston. And they're all over Eldon Auker. Let me just tell you that. That's a base hit. And another run. Cecil Koopa is up. And he gets a 3-7. That's a triple 1-9 to nine or a double. And that's going to be a double. And Burleson, they are not going to send. So runners are at second and third. Another hit for Boston. And two down, though. And Carlton Fisk up, and he gets 3-7. That's a strikeout. So a key strikeout just when Ocker needed it. But Boston did strike for another run, and we go to the bottom of the second with the score Boston 3 and the Detroit Tigers 1. G. Walker is up. He gets a 5-9. He's the DH today. And that's going to be a strikeout. One away. Billy Rogel gets a 2-6. And that's a triple 1-6 to six or a double. And that is going to be a double. So, one out. Man at second. Pete Fox up. He gets a 1-10. That is a single. And Rogel is a 1-14. to They're going to hold him with only one out. And I think I missed two Detroit hits. So there we go. JoJo White is up. He gets a 3-7. That's a ground ball. First base B. The infield was not in, so a run does score on the fielder's choice. And... Up steps Charlie Garinger, and he gets a 5-10. That is a catcher's card. That is Carlton Fisk, who I think is a 2, but let's see. Let's just check that. 
He is a two, yes. And that is a 15 and two at catcher. And that's a foul out. So one run does come in for Detroit, though, and we go to the top of the third. With the score three to two, you couldn't ask for a tighter game than this. Fred Lynn is up for Boston. 5-5 five, five is a single one to 13. And that is a single. So that's another hit for Boston. Jim Rice up. He gets a 4-9. That is a single. And there's going to be some activity in the Detroit bullpen. Eldon Ocker just doesn't seem to have it today. They will get up Chief Hogset, and he's warming up with Dwight Evans up. Dwight Dewey Evans, two odd, no out. And that is a 3 6, which is a walk and loads the bases. Bases are full, no outs. Yastrzemski up. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball, second base, double play. Another run does score, but there's two outs, and it would have been a single had the Detroit Tigers brought the infield in. So they do get another run, and they have so far scored in every inning. Enrico Petroselli's up. He gets a 5-6. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is... I don't know if we went over that before. He is. Charlie Garinger is a one. He probably is going to make that play. I think he does. 13-1 is an out. But Boston struck again. Berg is up. For Detroit. In the bottom of the third. 4-6 is a single one to 18. And that is a single. So another hit for Detroit. Mickey Cochran's up. He gets a 5-5. That is a ground ball shortstop. Burleson is a 2. That is a 2. That's going to be a hit, I think. It is a single 1. Got the wrong markers out there. And that's going to be the hit goes to Detroit. Marv Owen comes up. He gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball shortstop, a double play out of the inning. So, no runs come in for Detroit. We go to the top of the fourth. And Rick Burleson will bat. He gets a 2-6. That's a line out to third, one away. Denny Doyle's up. He gets a 1-9. That's a ground ball to second. Two outs very quickly. And Cecil Cooper comes up. He gets a 2-5, which is a single. And that's another hit for Boston. And with that hit, they are going to go to the bullpen and bring in Hogsett. And Carlton Fisk is up against him. He gets a 4-6, single one to 18. And that is going to be a single. Another hit for Boston. The hit parade for Boston just keeps coming in. And Freddie Lynn is up and he gets a 1-9. That's a double 1-8 to eight or a single double asterisk. That's going to be a double. Double on a run scores. And only one. They're not even going to... I mean, they're just going to let the merry-go-round keep going. Jim Rice is up. He gets a 1-8. That's a three-run home run for Jim Rice. He clears the bases with another hit. And four runs in in this big fourth inning for Boston with Dwight Dewey Evans up. And he gets a 3-4, and that's an out. So they're out of the inning. But with two outs, the Red Sox did a lot of damage there and now have an 8-2 lead 
on the Detroit Tigers as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Goose Goslin is up. He gets a 2-8. That's a ground ball shortstop. One away. G. Walker comes up. He gets a 3-6. That's a ground ball third base. Two away. And Billy Rogel gets a 6-7, which is a walk. So Detroit manages to get on. They get runners on. They're just not scoring at quite the pace Boston is. Pete Fox is up. He gets a 5-2. That's a fly ball right, and that's out of the inning. No runs come across for the Detroit Tigers. We go to the top of the fifth. Carl Yastrzemski up. He gets a 5-9. That's a strikeout. Rico Petroselli gets a 4-9. That's a home run 1-12 or a triple. And it's another home run for Boston. And they get another hit. And another run and they have scored so far in every inning now I know I said that back in the third and back in the third it wasn't that big of a thing but right now it's a very big thing Rick Burleson gets a 3-2 and that is a ground ball to the second baseman and he is out and I believe that that's it for Boston if it's not you know my mistake but then again I'm sure they're not going to complain. They are kicking Detroit's ass. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 9-2, 75 Boston, who has scored in every inning. And JoJo White is up for the Detroit Tigers. He gets a 6-10, which is a fly to center. Charlie Geringer gets a 6-7, which is a walk. Again, a guy on every inning. Greenberg comes up. He gets a 5-6. That's a fly ball to left. Two away. And Mickey Cochran is up and he gets a 5-10. That's a catcher. And the catcher is Fisk and he's a 2. That's a 19 and a 2 at catcher. And that is roll again. And that's a 15 and a 2 and that's a foul out. So no runs. For Detroit, we go to the top of the sixth with Denny Doyle up. And that's a 6 8, which is a single. And the Detroit Tigers are going to get somebody else up in their bullpen. The pitching really on Detroit that year was not all that great. They will get up Vic Sorrell. Cecil Cooper at the plate. He gets a 3-2, which is a foul out to the catcher, one away. Carlton Fisk gets a 1-7, which is a walk. So runners are at first and second with only one out. Freddie Lynn gets a 3-8. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Jim Rice gets a 4-8. And that is a that is a triple one or a double. And that's going to be a double. And Boston keeps their streak going of scoring a run in every inning. Ten runs on ten hits. Dwight Evans up. He gets a 6-6. That is a strikeout. Boston way ahead here. Yastrzemski up at the plate. Or wait a minute. No. Um, Marv Owen up at the plate for Detroit. I keep getting the wrong team. 2-6 is a single one to 12. For Marv Owen. And he actually is out. He lines out to third base. One away. Goose Goslin gets up. He gets a 3-4. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Greg Walker gets a 1-10, which is a double one to 19. And that is going to be a double. Seventh hit for Detroit, but they're way behind on the runs. 
Billy Rogel gets a 4-3, and that is a ground ball first base, and he's out, and they're out of the inning. And there's a new pitcher now for Detroit in the top of the seventh, and that's going to be Vic Sorrell to face Carl Yastrzemski. He gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout, one out. Rico Petroselli gets a 6-2, which is a line out to second base, two away. And Rick Burleson gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 1. And that is a 16. Let's see if that's an error. It is not. So, no runs come across for Boston for the first time in the game. We go to the bottom of the 7th. And Pete Fox up for Detroit against Louis Tihant, who is still out there. That's a 6-7, which is a walk. So Fox gets a walk. JoJo White. And we will see what that result is. That's a 2-10, which is a single. So Detroit has a little bit of a thing going here now, but they really need a lot of runs to catch up. Charlie Garinger gets a 5-12. That's a fly ball right field B, one out. Green, uh, Greenberg, Hank Greenberg gets a 5-11. That's a first base X. That would be Cecil Cooper, and he was a 4. And that's a 6 and a 4 at first base. And that is a single. So Detroit loads the bases with one out. And that brings up Mickey Cochran. Very good hitting catcher. Gets a 2-7. That's a walk that forces in a run. So they do get a run there. And Marv Owen, again, is up 6-12. Pop out to first. Two away. And Goose Goslin is up. And he gets a 2-12, which is a pop out to second base. And no runs come across. I mean, uh, no more runs, but they did get one. We go to the top of the eighth, and there is uh, some action in the Boston bullpen, and that'll be Dick Drago getting up with uh, Denny Doyle up at the plate. He gets a 1-5, which is a fly to center, one away. Cecil Cooper gets a 5-5, which is a fly to right, two away. And Carlton Fisk gets a 4-9, which is a ground ball second base, and he's out. And Boston has their second zero inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And they are going to bring in Dick Drago, Boston will, to face G. Walker. And he gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball to third, one away. Billy Rogel gets a 5-10. That is a catcher card. And that is Fisk, and he's a 2. That is a 10-2 at catcher, which is an out-on dribbler. Two away. And that brings up JoJo White. He gets a 2-10, which is a single. And let's see. We got Detroit with another hit. Charlie Garinger gets a 5-7. That is a pop out to first. So, no runs across for Detroit. And we go to the top of the ninth. Freddie Lynn up. He gets a 1-12, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. One away. Jim Rice gets a 4-9, which is a ground ball second base. Two away. And Dwight Evans gets a 6-10. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. And he is a 2. And that is a 5 and a 2 at short, which is an out. So Boston comes away. They uh, probably end up uh, ending the game with three zero innings after putting up six innings in a row to start the game where they scored. Hank Greenberg against Drago. He gets a 4-11, which is a walk.
Mickey Cochran gets a 312, which is a walk. So they're coming back. Not really. Maybe not. We'll see. Two runners on, no outs. Marv Owen gets a five or a two seven, which is a pop out to shortstop, one away. Goose Goslin gets a two five, which is a fly ball to center field, two outs. Down to their last out, G Walker gets a five six, and he flies out. And that is your final score from Detroit. The 1975 Detroit Red Sox have thrashed the 1934 Detroit Tigers by the score of 10-3. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.